So today I actually had a completely different video in mind. It's just I had the sudden urge to talk about Tetris. Welcome to the Smallscape. Yes, today we are talking about Tetras, specifically five of my favorites for the 20 gallon size. It's, I'm all about nano tanks here, and the 20 gallon size is a size that I am absolutely loving lately. They're so flexible for occupants and aquascapes. They're just great. I just recently taken over, the, well, four 20 longs. I have had two 20 longs in the past. They're a really great size. And then I've got a couple of 29s, but I thought the 20 gallon size is a really popular one. So let's talk about the five best ones, in my opinion, uh, best Tetras. Number five, the it, th this is a uh, variety that is relatively new to my, um, not really obsessing over, but I really love this because I have actually, it's, it's one of my new, my new uh, fish children, and it, it, they happen to occupy one of my brand new tanks that I've taken over in the fish room, and that would be the Red Cherry Tetra. Yes, that is number five on my list, and I've included it because it is, it is an outstanding color. You can see the fish from across the room as soon as you go down to the basement fish room, you can see the color. If they're out, that would be the reason that they are number five and not number one because of their their behavior yes i find them to be very very kind of skittish mr primetime sees them all the time because he's the one that usually feeds them if you're not feeding them they're going to run behind some driftwood and they're going to hide which means you're not going to necessarily be able to appreciate their beautiful color the uh the size the, they're a little bit larger so closer to the two inch size but you can probably in a 20 gallon you can fit um eight to 10 easily. And they're just a really great color. Now, the uh, after I get through number five, uh, the, the, the top five, I, I will have an honorable mention because I absolutely have to have the honorable mention because it didn't make the top five, but it's very, it was, it was a really good runner up. But let's move on to number four. My number four pick would be the Candy Cane Tetra. I did an aquascape in a, what is that, like a 12 long? I get confused between the 11 long, the 12 long, they're very closely related size-wise, but I created Candy Cane Island. That was the aquascape. Love them. I first saw them at Agno Aquatics in Ohio, and they immediately went to my bucket list fish, and beautiful color, kind of a, a white, kind of white pink, ish sort of color but it's the fins that i really really love along with the name you know if you name something after a fun food or uh, a fun color just sign me up that's usually one of the first things that i'm going to look at and it's just really fun to say candy cane tetras but they're really fun i love the personality they kind of kind of hang out together they're they're very peaceful all these fish that i'm going to be mentioning will be very peaceful and get along with other occupants which i think is an absolute must especially if you're talking at 20 gallons and lower. But love the Candy Cane Tetras just because of their, their interesting little uh, behavior and they're just a beautiful fish and I just love their fins. Number three, the Glow Light Tetra. I love these and even when we're asked stocking questions frequently, I will forget to mention these, but I absolutely love the Glow Light Tetras. So if you're thinking of stocking a 20 gallon tank, highly recommend you take a look at them. They kind of have a silverish body and then they've got this like little almost like glowing stripe that goes through their body. I always think of of uh, what are those um, those little glow things that you can hang you get at like holidays or, or for 4th of July and you can put them on your wrists and hang them and stuff. They, they glow you know you snap them and they that's exactly what I think of when I see that little stripe going down but very subtle but also kind of a very very subtle, interesting kind of fish. They're a little bit smaller than a number four and number five, so they're closer to maybe an inch and a half size, so you can you can fit a few more. I would say 12. You know, you can put a nice dozen in your 20 gallon tank, and I just love them. I kept them with a betta, and everybody did great, and it's just a really fun little fish. Number two, and I'm gonna tell you, number one, these are also a little bit on the smaller side, and 
they uh, that means you can fit a few more in so for me it's kind of a bonus if you can fit more of a fish if you want a larger school into this 20 gallon tank size so number two is a fish I absolutely adore and that is the ember tetra love its tiny little body they don't even reach an inch they're super small but the color on them is is so amazing they're just a bright solid orange color and I just love them if, if I only had a few tanks in uh, down the road ember tetras would always be on the list because they are just so small but yet so colorful and you can combine them with a lot of other fish we uh, we did have them they, they can be a little nippy with a betta I would be careful with that have a backup plant but other than that I just love them they're just they're just so adorable and so colorful now my number one pick if you know me you know you know what I'm gonna pick and that's because it is the world's best tetra that's right and I'll explain why it is a small fish it stays max size inch and quarter inch and a half maybe but it is so beautiful and it can appear different colors depending on the angle that you're looking at it if you're looking down at them straight ahead or even up towards an angle the colors can range from like a almost purple to a blue to a turquoise it is the green neon tetra i think it is the most superior tetra and it's also my favorite neon tetra the cardinals and the, the standard neons they're great i love them however they don't do well for us i don't have any good luck with them so not really one that i can speak on but the green neon is stunning when you have when you have them in your tank, I, I, I've never heard anybody say, hey, I got green neons, they're okay. Mm -mm. They're like little tiny neon lights running through your tank. They're a great size. You can fit 12 to 15 of both the embers and the, the green neons. They're so small in a 20 gallon tank, so you get a nice size of them. And contrary to, to what some people may say, some people may find their behavior um, maybe not as not as good because they hide a little bit that's okay I think their behavior is actually quite fascinating because they they pretty much stay together however when you have them in a planted tank which I did I had them in my farm tank and what they do is they kind of hide in the smaller plants and then they'll scoot out and then they'll they'll kind of it's like a little thoroughfare they're just it's a little freeway they're just constantly going back and forth but they're diving and hiding in between plants it's they're just so fun to watch and they're so beautiful and they're gonna literally light up your tank you won't be sorry and that is my those are my top five now for my honorable mention that would be the black neon I I don't even know how excited I was when I first saw them because I was like, yeah, but you know, you, you have so many, you have the green neon, you got the, the, the cardinals, they're just so bright and colorful. And then the black neon just doesn't really seem like it has much color at all. It can blend into your black substrate or your black background, but, but they are larger than the green neon. They're, they're hardier, so you won't have, I know a lot of people, including us, we've had a number of the green neons, they, maybe they don't survive. Uh, right away so you can have um, th they're not really the hardiest of the neons but their amazingness makes up for it the black neon they were very hardy larger they can take care of themselves but they're not bullies they've gotten along with anybody I've put them with uh, had them in with cribs and they got along just fine and they, they kind of hang out together real nice and there's a very subtle blue color kind of in the top fin area that you're gonna see and it's just kind of like a little a little treat you're like eh. and then you're like oh that's a really pretty blue that they're that they're showing so those are my top five plus eight uh an honorable mention that uh these are my favorite tetras for the 20 gallon size i'd love to know what your thoughts are include them down below and share your favorite tetra and uh if you've ever had a green neon tetra let me know your thoughts and let me know how much you love them because i certainly do Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And if you've made it this long, yes, yes, this is a response video to Primetime Aquatics.
top 10 Tetras in the world uh, where he, he uh, Mr. Primetime, put uh, the Green Neon is number nine out of 10 on his top 10 list. Nine out of 10. Mm -mm. No. Go ahead and put a, put a green heart in, in the comments. Go ahead, put a, put a bunch of them, put a bunch of green hearts. Thanks.